Hi, this is JP from Another Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode where I'll grab a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and play the Midnight Mass scenario on uh, the vanilla version, not the return to version, and see how well I can do with a chaos deck in this scenario. Uh, it's been a while, I haven't been able to update this series, but uh, because we are still waiting for the Scarlet Keys, I thought to kill the time I would make a couple of these videos probably uh, before the player cards for the Scarlet Keys hit. So, without further delay, we'll pick the random investigator from my investigator tokens that are in this bag. So, um, hoping to not get a mystic because the series has had a lot of mystics so far, but we'll see what we get. So, the unlucky investigator this time is Jenny Barnes. So, a rogue, and it will be a doozy because, um, as you know, Dunwich investigators have the Dunwich uh, splash, so we get five cards from uh, random uh, classes spread out. So, uh, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and build the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com. And uh, let's just find Jenny Barnes and roll the dice. So, uh, as usual, I am not using any taboo lists for building the deck. The chaos uh, nature is already too much to negate any uh, too powerful combos that might be available in deck building, so uh, we'll just uh, hit the chaos button over here and see what we get. Okay, first off, uh, with these Dunwich Investigators, I'll check. Uh, I have one, two, uh, three, four, five non-rogue cards, so it is legal. So, let's start looking at the cards. Uh, we have lockpicks. Uh, that's really good. Uh, Kukri. <laughs> uh, maybe the worst weapon in the game, but I'll take it. A Mauser. Well, should be good. It's quite expensive. Pocket Telescope. An interesting pick. Switchblade level 0. Pretty awful with Jenny, because Jenny's fight is only 3. But at least we have weapons and uh, investigative tools to splash around. Well, of course, we have the Jenny's Twin 45, so weapons we have already. Uh, Mist of Relay. This could be really uh, useful. Uh, but again, we are in. We are. We we are only liking this because of the bonus move we got. Uh, we'll get from it. Charles uh, Ross Esquire. I have never played this in a deck, but. It's a first time for er everything. Joey the Rat Vigil, <laughs> not, not my favorite. A bit expensive. Lonnie Ritter, hmm. Uh, well, at least we have allies. Uh, investments, well, Jenny won't be start with cash, so that's a bit useless. Uh, well connected, well, this is a good one for Jenny. Then uh, uh, let's God sort them out. Uh, only useful for the icon because we are not. Uh, playing a campaign, breaking and entering, that is good. Elusive, well, this is really good, especially when not playing Taboo. Uh, Fosty and Bargain times two, well, we are going to get a lot of resources, apparently. That's good. Uh, Intel Report combos really well with a lot of resources. Narrow Escape, okay, well. Uh, Pilfer, this is really good for Jenny. As Jenny will have the resources to play this, so we can uh, get uh, more clues. Uh, practice makes perfect. Well, I don't think I have a lot of pr uh, practiced cards in the deck. Second wind. Well, this could be useful if we take a lot of damage. Unearth the ancients. Well, not good, but good for the icons at least. Then we have two copies of cunning. So. This will combo really well with a lot of resources and one copy of Daredevil. So not good because we are uh, we only have so few. Well, uh, uh, 
I spoke too soon. We have desperate search, manual dexterity, overpower, and perception, and say your prayers. So we have a lot of skills, but not most of them are not that good. Uh, let's see what is the basic weakness, and I will re-roll if I get a multiplayer or campaign weakness. So self-centered, unfortunately this it won't do. We need to add a new basic weakness and roll again. So adding one and re-rolling, hopefully something that is legal. Drawing the sign, it is legal, so uh, this will be our chaos deck. So I'll start building the deck uh, in a moment. Okay, and uh, uh, it is an interesting deck. I think we can do um, decently. I, I'm hoping to get at least two, as usual, but maybe three. Uh, three is not uh, out of the uh, running for... Well, uh, three is possible. Uh, we have decent chances to deal with the mass Hunter when he shows up. So, I think... I'll, I'll build the deck and let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. Uh, Jenny starts at your house. The ghoul priest is in the encounter deck. And we'll start by drawing our opening hand. So, let's see what we get. And uh, we get... Elusive, Faustian Bargain, the Court Sartemon, Faustian Bargain, and Perception. I don't think we need that much resources at the start. Well, Perception is good. Uh, we need assets. I'll ditch the... Well, I'll keep the Elusive just in case. So we'll get one card. And Switchblade. <laughs> Not a good start. Well, it is what it is. At least we know some low shroud locations which we can investigate and hopefully we can draw some useful cards soon enough. So we need two clues to reveal a um, cultist. So let's start by doing the action over here. So we'll Gain a resource and a card. Unearth the ancients, not useful. Well, we can play the switchblade as a fast action, but we don't need the resources just yet, so I'll investigate using the perception. Okay, uh, we are 5 versus 2. Perception will draw us another card, so we cycle our deck faster. Minus one, we'll grab this clue. Uh, we'll gain a card. <laughs> well connected. Well, isn't that great? I will play well connected. As my last action. Oh yeah, uh, just noticed I don't have my action tokens in play. I'll just grab them after this round. So uh, that is all our actions done. We'll go to the minion, uh, the enemy phase. No enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we ready draw a card. Uh, we get daredevil and gain two resources because we are Jenny Barnes. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and I have my action tokens over here. So we'll add a doom. And counter card for this round is false lead. If you have no clues, false lead gets search. If you have one or more clues, test intellect four for each point you fail by place one of your clues to one of your location. I don't even think I want to. Well, yeah, Daredevil is useless. Um, let's unearth the ancients because that is a useless card for us. So we are testing five versus. And I'll use the uh, well connected for this test. So we are four, five, six versus four. 
minus one. So we don't drop a clue. That is good for the tempo. First action, we will move to Rita Tom. There's one clue here. We will investigate. Do I want to commit anything? We can't commit the desperate search, unfortunately. So we'll just test three versus two. Skull is X. X is the highest number of two monocultists. It is zero. So we'll grab this clue. Last action, we will spend the clues to reveal the top card of this deck. And it is Victoria Devereaux, so we got lucky because we have plenty of resources to deal with Victoria. So we'll place Victoria to north side. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we ready, we draw a card, and we gain two resources. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We'll add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is uh, Hunting Shadow. Uh, you must either spend one clue or take two damage. We don't have clues, so we have to take the damage. So that is unfortunate. But I think this round will be pretty simple. Move, move, and parlay. So move, move, and yeah, we'll move through the Miskatonic University. So four shroud, two clues. When we have a uh, pilfer, for example, we'll head back here and move to the north side. This, uh, the Victoria engages us. Last action parlay. So Victoria reads, uh, action spent five resources, parlay at Victor Debro to the Victor display. So just place Victoria over there and spend the five resources. So one, two, four, five. That is everything. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We ready draw Joey the Rat Vigil. At least some um, health soak and we gain two resources. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Quick turns here, so uh, we add a Doom, the 3 of 6, and counter card is Obscuring Fog. So this location gets Obscuring Fog and we forgot to put the clue tokens over here. So we are not investigating here. And uh, let's think... Um, I think I'll play Faustian Bargain. So we add two curses to the back, get... I'll just put... Our five resource token here. We'll add the curse tokens. So two curse tokens go into the back. Now uh, well connected boosts us by two. Which actually, uh, let's think. Do we have, well, no we don't. So Faustian Bargain uh, will move downtown. Uh, two clues, Shroud of Four. And we'll investigate. And I use the Well Connected. And uh, we'll try five versus Do I really want to play Joey the Rat Vigil now? So Five versus four. Unfortunately, a minus three, so we fail. So no enemies will go to upkeep. We are ready. We draw a card. Uh, ten is twin fortifies, and we gain two resources. So we have weapons for days now. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Found the card is Hunting Night God. Well, isn't that annoying? So, Hunting Night God spawns engage with us. I think it is time to.
play elusive. So fast action will play elusive. So disengage from each enemy engage with you and move to a reveal location with no enemies. So we'll hop over here. Then hunting knight count is way over there. That was a fast action. Uh, then I think we'll spend five resources to play Jenny's twin 45s with five ammo counters on it. Uh, let's make it. Uh, I'll make it seven because why not? So we have 7 ammo on the twin 45s and uh, now we have a way to deal with the mask hunter when that guy shows up. So that was uh, first action, second action we'll move to south side. Search your deck for an ally asset and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. And there are two clues here, uh, one clue here, shroud of two wheel. Well connect. Uh, well connect is a dud. Just for that, I played played too many resources. So we'll just investigate three versus two. Minus two, no dice. Well, we are getting a bit behind on the investigation, but it is what it is. Uh, enemy face, the hunting knight can't hunt over here. No other enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw practice makes perfect and gain two resources. So well connected is online again. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are at five of six doom. Encounter card is uh, mysterious chanting. Uh, so we have to search for a cultist enemy and put it into play. This is the wrong way around. So we'll search for an acolyte because why not? I think this turn will be investigative move, kill the acolyte. Yeah, shuffle the encounter deck. And uh, Acolyte spawns with the Doom. We'll spawn it over, over to the St. Mary's Hospital. This is an empty location. First action, investigate. I'll use the Well Connected. Uh, we are investigating 5 versus uh, 4 versus 2. Minus 2. We'll grab this clue. Second action, we'll move over here. St. Mary's Hospital. Uh, let's see. This guy engages. There's one clue here. And uh, we can heal damage here, so... That is good. And last action, we'll use one ammo to fire at the Acolyte. We are fighting five versus three. I'll go... No, I'll save that for later. We don't have a fight uh, or combat icon, so 5 versus 3. Curse, oh dear. Uh, I think we might hit here. It is a minus 1 because this cultist has a doom on it, so we miss. Uh, enemy face, this enemy hits us for 1 damage. This hunts here. Upkeep, uh, we ready, we draw card, manual dexterity, and we gain a resource, so that is that round. Oh, we gain two resources. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so the agenda unfortunately advances, uh, which means that we are getting the mask hunter on us. So mask hunter, four fight, uh, Six health and two evade. Uh, humanoid cultist elite spawn engage with the prey. Prey most clues hunter. The mask hunter get 
uh, while you are engaged with the mass hunter, you cannot discover or spend fools, so we have to deal with this enemy this round. And we still get an encounter card, which is the ghoul priest. But luckily the ghoul priest uh, spawns at least at our house, so we don't have to deal it with it immediately. So we are getting swarmed by enemies. Uh, first action. We are using the twin 45s to fight the ghoul priest. And now no, the mass counter. I'm committing overpower to the chest. We are 5, 7 versus 4. And it is a plus 1. We deal 2 damage. We fire again. This time we'll use the well connected. So we are 6 versus 4. And auto fail. Oh dear. And last action. We are not killing the mass hunter, so I'm uh, shooting at the acolyte just to lower the damage a bit. So five versus three. Uh, let's see. Uh, I still need to use ammo. Minus two, so that is enough to kill off the acolyte. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I was just checking that does the mass counter have a retaliate, but luckily, no. Enemy face, uh, this enemy hunts over here, this enemy hunts over here. Uh, mass counter hits us for two damage, so I'm I'm uh, I, I have uh, three health remaining. I have taken five. That is not good, but we'll go to upkeep. We ready. Draw a card, breaking and entering, and we gain a resource. Uh, I, we gain two resources. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we had a doom. Uh, one of eight encounter card is Grip Chill Test Willpower 4. If you fail, choose and discard one as to control if you cannot take two damage instead. This we really need to pass. So I'm I'm using all available resources to pass this. So we are three, uh, four, five. Six, and we'll see what if we get a rogue. Let's see, rogue skill. Not the skill. We don't have a rogue skill, I know, but we will have to do this because deck shuffles. Okay, so please, we get the plus one. So again, three, four, five, six versus four. Now we need to get lucky not to lose the weapons. And there is still the one curse in the back, which could ruin us. <laughs> of course, we draw the curse. So four versus four. So zeros and elder signs will save us. And actually skulls, because there are no uh, doom on anything, so this is a zero, we pass barely, and we don't have to lose our weapons, so... Uh, this is this is getting clutch. Uh, now uh, we will have to fight this... Uh, I think we don't want to move, because we want to not go to Miskatern University, because the ghoul priest will hunt there, so we'll just take the night count when it comes. So, uh, first action. We will investigate. I am investigating uh, 6 versus 2, and uh, this doesn't cause attacks of opportunity. 0, we'll grab this clue. The 
mass counter is evaded. So at least we got that going to, with our, for us. Um, we'll shoot it uh, five versus four. It is a plus seven, so we hit, uh, we deal two damage, so we still need to last chance to kill it. Five versus four. No, no, no. Five versus four, okay, well, hoping. Beyond all hope, minus one. Uh, the mass counter is defeated. We'll add it into the victory display. Uh, we got two cultists, but now uh, the real end game begins. So the night count moves and engages us. I'll just move it over here. Hits us for one damage and one horror. The ghoul priest moves over here. And uh, that is that, so we'll go to upkeep, we ready this, draw a card, let the card sort them out, and we gain also, uh, two resources. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Two of eight doom encounter card is locked door because the location with the most blue. So I'll just pile it over here. We are not investigating the north side anyway. Anyway, um, so we need to kill the night count some way, or we could evade it and start running. I think that is much a much better option. So we'll play manual dexterity. And switchblade, and we have two, so we'll get plus one from well connected. So plus four, so seven versus one, and we double whatever we draw or evade. Minus four, so minus eight, we fail. <laughs> of course, we fail because we had uh, manual dexterity committed. No way around it. We will just try to evade again. Minus four, and we'll have to evade again. Cultist is a minus two place. One doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There are no cultist enemies, so minus four. We fail, so enemy phase. I think we are dead. The cool priest moves in. Night count hits us for one damage, and one horror. Cool priest hits us for two damage. Which is enough to defeat us and to horror. So, uh, tough break for Jenny. Uh, we didn't get any location victory points. We only got two cultists in the victory display. So, this deck really had potential. We just got really unlucky <laughs> with the pulls. Uh, the Faustian bargain proved to be a mistake because those. Curses were uh, pretty bad for us, but it is what it is, and it is chaos, so this is bound to happen when you're playing with a chaos deck. Uh, it, it is not a very good deck altogether, but it has potential to succeed, so uh, I would have wanted to get an ally into play, so we should have played Joe with the Red Vigil earlier to have more Damage soak, uh, intel report. We would have wanted uh, peel of fur would have been good. We didn't see cunning, which would have been really great for investigating and evading. And uh, yeah, well, 
I think we got the best card in the deck, the Jenny's Twin Force Fives in play, and that didn't help us. So, well, uh, Jenny got two, uh, well, three experience and two cultists. So, um, at least uh, she did the bare minimum that I was expecting. And uh, one more cultist, we could have uh, spent this to draw one, which would have been Herman Collins. He had plenty of cards at one point, so we could have. Uh, Move over there and defeat Herman easily, and maybe resign after that, but it was not meant to be. Well, I uh, hope you guys liked this playthrough. I look forward to the next episode in the IF Chaos series. Thanks for watching, and until next time.